What was the breaking point? Um, well, I, 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 joined, I, I, I was quickly sort of uh, pushed into an arranged marriage um, at 18. Oy, I was oy. engaged at 19. Uh, I was married to a guy I'd, I'd just met. And they don't allow birth control. So I had seven kids in 10 years. So I stayed a long time because they were my world. They were my everything. Besides, I, I grew up in the Hasidic world, so I didn't really have the skills of an adult in the world. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, I, and it took all my energy to build the sort of structure of my kids' lives. So I was deeply invested. I say nearly 30 years. Wow. Um, there were a lot of turning points, but they were that I kept internal and didn't change. I changed on the inside, but I stayed the course, stayed the course, because as a woman, my my opinions or feelings they didn't really count. And when you live with your, you know, in a life that says, "All right, don't speak out loud in public and keep your body covered," you know, what you wear, fashion anyway, has all this kind of subliminal message. And the very act of having to keep my head covered and covered clothing, which women have to do all over the world, it's, it's a subliminal message of you need, you need to be covered in the world. Your body is you, and it doesn't really count. It's something to be a little ashamed of. Your voice, don't listen to it because it really should keep quiet. You don't even hear your own voice. Mm-hmm. So those turning points... Those turning points that changed me didn't make me move until it was too much. The biggest turning point, though, was after seven kids, when the seventh was born, and uh, um, uh, uh, my oldest is 10 years old, and the seventh was premature. You can imagine the level of exhaustion. Oh, Oh, yeah. Um, um, And I got pregnant again. (gasps) And that's when everything changed. For the first time, that little, you know, pr- quiet voice that we all have that I was so good at ignoring was screaming, going, this isn't a baby. This is a thing that will kill you. Wow. And it was very powerful for me. And I would stand back and go, what are you, a monster? What's wrong with you? You know, you, we didn't believe in abortion. And I couldn't think of anything but. Wow. I, I, was, I was quite, quite driven. And I did. I had an abortion. Wow. That, I'm sure that went over well with your husband. husband. Yeah. Well, when I told I told him and that I was going to do it, and he called me a murderer and he screamed at me and he said he divorced me, which to me, like I didn't even know American law, so I didn't know about child support. You know, I thought it would thrust me out alone in the world, lose my children, which were everything, right. without skills to exist, and I was still prepared to go through that because the alternative, I was sure I was going to die. And then he cried. He didn't really want to hurt me. He was just confused. 